one of those things, I think it's kind of like mythical in the golf world. I've been talking a lot with people about this of late has been swing weight. And what does it actually do or what does it mean for a lot of people when they are going through and getting fit or working with their clubs, anything like that? Does it have any impact at all on your golf game? Well, let's find out today. We're gonna take these, cause these are my new irons. I've had them for about six weeks or so, the Titleist T150s. And they are a little lighter than I am used to. And I just wanna see what will happen if I was to add a little weight. And let's talk about what swing weight will do to the golf club. All right, guys, so let's talk about what swing weight is. Cause I think this is something that a lot of people misunderstand. Now, swing weight is different from total weight. So total weight would be the total weight of the golf club. Here, we have a swing weight scale. This is going to basically measure kind of how much this golf club feels weight on one end or the other. So we're gonna see this balance. What it is, is it's measuring the weight from a distance that's basically just was randomly picked a long time ago and seeing how much that weighs. So if we throw this in the scale, again, I've got my iron here. We're just gonna get it in and we do have it level. You can see there's a level on this. And all we're gonna do is slide until we balance out, okay? Not super uh, scientific here. All right, and we can see we have balanced out here and this is at D1, almost D like 0.5 as we're going through. So for me, this is light. Coming from my previous set, I was actually at like D4 or five. This is something that is very, very different. Now it's not bad, but definitely different. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna hit some shots. We'll get the launch monitor out here. Let's go ahead, let's take a look at what we're getting as we go through this. All right, let's get a golf club in here. Always like to, if we can, when we're labeling, higher all right so we've got our shots now that we've hit okay so now it's time to let's take a look at what's going on with the golf club so again we're talking swing weight here not total weight total weight that's going to change slightly as we add or subtract but that's not what we're going for here we are looking to add weight to one end or the other that is what swing weight is doing that's why we are using our tool here now I wanna add swing weight. I wanna get this up maybe to D3. That's kind of my thinking and see what we get. So to do that, what I'm gonna do, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can do some weights in the shaft. You can do that. I'm gonna do kind of the old method that I just like, which is just some lead tape. We're gonna cut some up. We're gonna stick it to the back of the club and then that should change that swing weight. Also note, like if we needed to subtract, we could just change stuff on the grip end. If we add weight to the grip end, you could actually subtract, or you can also put counterweights in the shaft that would actually take off a little bit of weight. But again, we wanna test this out and see what we get if I was to change the swing weight. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, so it should be about two grams, give or take, should be actually a little more. That should add one swing weight point. Let's see, we got a little ruler on this guy too, which is nice. Tape, let's just see what we get and how much that weighs. So two grams, okay. So we're gonna need more. So it's kind of like a little science project here. Three strips, because four grams is gonna move me up two. So I want three strips of this. Sorry, Titleist, I'm just gonna cover up the logo here on it and see. So I don't like to pull the ball, so I'm actually gonna make sure I keep some weight on the toe side, if anything. Again, not really doing a whole lot to change things. And honestly, I don't even know if this is gonna be permanent. That's why I like lead tape. You can always just peel it off. All right, so we're gonna call that good. I'm gonna call it a D3. It's right, just right short of it. Um, so let's go ahead, let's fire it up. All right, so let's start diving into the data. So this is where it gets a little interesting. And I think, and I think this is gonna be kind of 
what we want to talk about with this is, and again, people are always worried about what the swing weight is of their golf clubs and what it affects, all right? So here we go. I've got our two shots here. So I've got our D1 swings here first. And again, we're not moving a ton of weight here. It's not a crazy amount, but you'll see slight, slight differences as you go. We are looking at mainly, let's look at our carry distance. With the environmental optimizer on, we are at 167 yards without at 165 yards at that D1. Kind of normal for me, especially it's early, not super warmed up yet. It's a little colder today too, actually. Um, the, go over to the D3, 166, 164. So a slight droppage in yardage as we go, but not much. Again, we're not moving a ton of weight here to make a big difference, but where you're gonna see a big difference in what we're doing is if we go back to this D1, we're gonna go to our lateral distance here. So you're gonna see on our shots that we have a lateral distance of 0.3 right. Okay, that's something that we're seeing with the environmental optimizer on, 3.3 left. Typically when you have less swing weight or a lighter club, it's easier to square the face. So in my case as a righty, it'd be easier to hit that golf ball to the left. Now, again, we're not moving a ton of weight. I am barely used to these clubs by now, so it's not a huge thing, but let's just jump over to our D3 as we go through. So when we start looking at that, what we have is, you can see a slight, slight shift to 3.1 left. But the big thing is, if you go right below that, deviation is 5.9. So deviation being, you know, how much is things kind of moving off of the norm, right? So standard deviation, you can see that is almost half of what I had with the D1. I was in the tens. So that is gonna be the biggest thing with swing weight. Swing weight essentially provides stability to the golf club. You're gonna feel a little bit more stable. It's gonna be a little bit harder to maneuver. So if you're somebody that maybe slices it and leaves the face open, it might actually be harder to get that face to close a little bit. Whereas right here, we're actually seeing me actually just keep it a little bit more open, but also just not getting anything that's kind of crazy off the map as we're going through with this. So just something to think about as you go. Again, is it something that's really, I think, complicated as people go through this, but it's not really, it's just whether you're changing things as you go. Now, one thing too, remember when you change your grip, you change your grip size, that is going to affect the swing weight. So just keep that in mind as you are going through. But if you have questions about swing weight, you have questions about any of this, leave those comments down below. Let me know if you like seeing how all of this works. If you like seeing how the science of this works and what you can do to make adjustments or when you go to get fit, which I highly recommend everybody does, you have an idea of what you're looking at and how things are feeling. Some of those feelings that you have, you might now be able to kind of put a little bit of, you know, hey, this is what I'm actually feeling to it as you're swinging it. So if you have questions, leave those comments, click that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.